She was covered in goo. She was minutes old. And the mother was just not paying any attention. Yeah. So I just rushed home with her. She was really weak. She did not walk, but she was not giving up either. When she was offered milk, she instantly wanted it. So we could feel like there is strength in that little lamb. She wants to live. On day three, she started taking steps. Later, we figured out that she is deaf. Sunna moved into our house and she lived there for weeks. It's impossible not to get attached. She instantly just became a loved pet. She is such a big part of life. Going from the house with all the humans to the sheep house was a very slow adaptation. We have many sheep that are very friendly and will come to be close to us, but obviously every sheep is unique. Sunna is the life of the party. Like when we're outside and she sees us, she comes running. and follows us just to be close. She's just so funny and there is so much playfulness in her. Okay, if I stop scratching her, she will scratch me. Wait, wait. I told you. She's very determined. She <laughs> goes for whatever she wants. If you do not pat her enough, she will just either headbutt you or scratch you until you give her the attention that she wants. I say it. Mostly she's just a lot of fun and just a lovely animal who deserves the best life possible. She's just the part of life that I love. She would not have made it without us, but also she would not have made it without her strength and her determination. Sometimes you just need to help someone a tiny bit and they will do the rest. Sheep are often quite underrated. <laughs> Most people don't know sheep personally, and many people who know sheep, they don't bother getting to know them properly. Every sheep is unique, and so many of them are so fun to be around and so lovely. Animals should be loved, and animals should always be treated well.